can't go anywhere. Yes. I bet winter's not gonna have that big scrap that. Yeah. Uh, totally Everyone in here is starving. I'm like holding on. I, I and you bring an ice cream offer. Oh. Hurts of owning an ice cream store. That's true. Door. That is true. Yeah, I know. You think that uh, you'd be able to are, are you some professor more? now too? Everyone's got a computer. <laughs> and hours, checking in. You think the uh, owner of an ice cream store want to take some mall? Right. Well, cockroach free. Are you googling as we go? No. no. Rex will be doing live fact checking tonight with anything that's said. So that's we, a big oh, thing. We, now. we don't, don't ask as question. many questions. As we you don't have it. a <laughs> mark. No, so All right. true facts check. We are missing Mark tonight. Welcome to episode 17. Hey guys. Of the toy, back to the toy store. Sure. Yeah. Back to the you were at the toy store near you. I was. Did you watch that episode? I episode did. Four? Cherry Bomb Toys. Yep. Uh, Victoria, British Columbia. Yep. Pretty, pretty good place. Our episode, hopefully in the next month or two, uh, maybe, will well, be up. Well, they only have the four, and that's been. I think we're three just, months. I'm just trying to be positive. Well, I know, but this pace, we at least one every, what, two weeks? Not two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is not every three, like, three months that they were talking about. Right. Like every That's like your Eagle Moss DeLorean. We'll be on our <laughs> second wave of COVID. <laughs> right now, right now, yes. Yeah, so we'll, I'll uh, talk about that a little bit. Yeah. The Eagle Moss DeLorean is kind of on hold. No. Oh. We're on hold on the DeLorean. Yep. Stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, intro. Uh, happy anniversary to my folks. Been together a long, long time. Uh, I'm like 41, so been together a few years longer than that. Are you the oldest? Yeah, I'm the oldest. Yeah. So, 41. Probably like 43. 16, so. Yeah, it's right 43. 43. 40, 40, let's go with that. Let's go with yeah. 43, 43 years together. Years? Happy yeah. anniversary! Happy anniversary! Yeah. I'm watching. Uh, my dad usually watches. He'll be yeah. on a little bit. He'll be on. He gets the notification, then he takes take, some stuff. He'll get there. He'll get there. It's okay. Hang in there. All right. What flavor is that? Uh, that is yellow cake batter. Oh, Chocolate. Joe, can you hand me my chocolate oh, yellow cake batter? Yeah, that's pretty. Thank good you, stuff. Joe. Ooh. We, you know, we uh, <laughs> have a lot of stuff going on with the build and everything. So we got a lot of people here. Joe helped all day today, so Joe Lears, who's Joe been, Lears. Um, used to work at the, used to work here, he's, works, woo, he's yeah. a toy soldier, knows a lot, uh, works at a big box, you know? Yeah. Well, who does? Yeah. Not in a big box. Yeah. What's up, Dan Stegen? <laughs> I'm mean, like a <laughs> star. <laughs> you always mention the name of a big box. Okay. You just need our, you need our uh, right. you know, uh, yeah. kind of an off-the-wall place. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who gets kicked out of there? We gotta get out of there, to be honest. I do. Right, well, I guess. Mike, yeah. Yeah. All right, are we live on here? Yeah, I guess we have live. Yeah, we got 24 people watching. So. Thanks, wow. 24 people. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, intro, I had the anniversary of my folks, so do you have anybody? anybody uh, Joel Reynolds had a birthday yesterday. Joel's birthday was yesterday, our Allo guy, yeah. I think we said that anyway. last week, but yeah. well, we didn't see him. So. Uh, he's coming Friday. He's going to finish uh, finish hooking uh, things up. Yeah, so we're good. Uh, Joel, good customer. Um, yeah. Birthdays, let's see. Oh, Josh Radner, How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. It's his birthday. Good show. Yeah, How I Met Your Mother clock again. Um, <laughs> Stephen Dorff. It's his birthday. Anybody like oh, Stephen yeah, Dorff? Dorf. Yeah, all right. Uh, Gabby Lee. Oh, sweet. Gabby Lee. Lee's birthday. Nice. Um, what? Oh, yeah. uh, Ken Burns, the guy that does all the documentaries. See, I like Ken Burns. Yeah. NETV yeah. Uh, documentaries, Ken Burns, all his baseball documentaries. Will Wheaton, 43 yep. today. So he's two years older than me? Yeah. Will Wheaton. Wow, we're going to be able to get him on the show. Uh, you know, <laughs> I tried to get him to the store once, but he didn't answer my emails. So. I think you got further with uh, Huey, Lewis? Huey Lewis. I talked to oh, Huey the other yeah, day. Yeah, there you go. Um, and probably one of the most famous people's birthday today. Okay, here we go. Benito Mussolini. Oh, wow. You tell you. Right. I think he ended up paying for a piano wire. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> he had a lot of great ideas. But you know what? <laughs> yeah, he is. He's he's man. I, I figured, you know, we haven't had very many birthdays to announce, so. Right. So we found some birthdays. Yeah. Well, Communist dictator that ended up <laughs> yeah. hanging in the mid, you know, Midtown Square. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Joel turned 42. 42? 42 yesterday. So. Still older. Happy birthday, Joel. Yeah. 
Join us All right. Uh, yeah. We do have a lot of lots to talk about. We had a busy meeting. We did. Yeah. Well, we had a few busy. things come in. Busy. Uh, busy with the store. You want to go with? We had toys or store toys. You got toys. Do you want to go with the store opening information? Or you want to save it for later? What well, day you doing? about it now. All right. So we just decided today. Today. That our grand opening day. Grand opening day is. I believe. April? Oh, sorry. I think you're a few months off. Whatever, they all start with an A. According August. to Jared, it's in about seven months. His blood, his blood <laughs> is low. My blood sugar is very low and someone's eating ice cream. So Saturday, sure. August 8th. So not this Saturday, but the next Saturday. Uh, for all you golden ticket holders, and you can still get golden tickets, Friday evening from 5 to 8. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, 5, five eight, to 8. August 7th. Um, until we kick you out. Or until we kick you out. Yeah. yeah, you guys will be able to come in and uh, check the place out before everybody else. So we if have you haven't week. got down to get your golden ticket, get down to the shop, do what you got to do. Have we been writing the names down? Yeah. And stuff? Oh, wait. We, we, we may Just have a sign. No one told me that. Yeah, we I may have a sign. I gave out. Thank you, too. Uh, I don't know if the sign will be up yet or not. The windows should be done by then. Yep. Um, but we're opening. So Wednesday, we are going to have a toy appraisal and buying fair right here in the new store. It was number four off the list. Sorry. Um, sadly, some uh, unscrupulous characters are coming to town and trying to steal toys. Oh, well, he's on Pawn Stars once. Oh, yeah. Once, but he calls himself a professional. Best I can do is 50 cents. So, the best I can do on that, I what, called a buddy. Yeah, if anybody saw the newspaper today, you'll see a really big ad of some guy who always claims that he pays a bunch for toys and stuff like that. Yeah. You take them to him, see what he'll offer you, and then bring them to us. And no, no. Mike has a bring them to you guys first. So, oh, that's for free. Yeah, bring them to me. Yeah. 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 What, what is this? I didn't say this little. Well, you, you know. Yeah. Happened today. It, it, did happen. it was in the old media. So, anyways, if you're looking yeah, to sell some toys, media. you want to know what they're worth. You don't have to sell them. See, Addy saw it. Addy saw it in the newspaper. Oh, what? We got a comment. Yep. Yeah, what? What? You saw it? Yeah, I did see it. Um, my mom pointed out while I was reading. Oh, Her name that's paper, precious. But yeah, it was in there. Seems in the Journal Star. He had a big page ad buying toy collections. Blah blah blah. And he comes to town about once every seven or eight well, he years. He needs a full page for that photo. <laughs> yeah. Mike? Say it louder for oh. the people in the back. No. We're not going to put people down, but let's just say he's, he's a thief. I'll tell you how I really feel about the guy. You can say a bad thing about anybody, he's a thief. So, anyways. Maybe that was No. He just a young thief. He's a big store. But we just want to do, we want to keep local collections local. That's what we want to do. Yep, trying to keep things local. We don't want our stuff that people have in this town. End up in a warehouse in Florida going he's, up on eBay. He's from Florida, and all he does, he goes around the country and buys stuff up warehouse. for pennies on the dollar, and then and then takes it to Florida and eBay's it. So right. you know, if that's who you want buying your stuff, go ahead, take it to him. So, so there goes number four, yeah. buying fair. So in all actuality, if everybody can just load up their cars with Beanie Babies all and go the out there and waste yeah. his entire day next week. That would be awesome. That would be sweet. That really is a good that idea. Awesome. Do that with my McDonald's toys. <laughs> a lot of, a I will lot take, of I will take all the Beanie Babies yeah. out there. I will take one for the team. I'll stand yeah. out there all day. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, all right, well, the grand here. opening next Saturday, the 8th. My daughter's birthday. That's good. Happy birthday. Yeah. Um, preview for Golden Ticket People Friday. Wednesday will be store the buying toy, toy buying fair. Hey, how many golden tickets you give out this week so far? Just no, it was not the guy that sold us stuff last year. From so this one. Carl's a good guy. We like we uh, we gave out four on Saturday. I'm not sure yeah. what Sunday, but five uh, five on Sunday. Yeah, then one on Friday night. I think right. it's it's I've, I've, I've had people. Message there, the guys who won, or the people trying to who see, won, trying to see how they did how, it. How they did it, and we won't tell them. No, we're not going to tell you how to win the gold and take it. So it's uh, it's a new point to even try to ask us because I'm not going to say. I'm going to give congratulations, congratulations, all the winners. Today is uh, 
come in and uh, help support our store. So. Max, you'll have a golden ticket, buddy. Oh, yeah. Max? Yeah. yeah. We've we got to have you here, buddy. You are basically, you know, Lego Max. Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah, Max will be here opening night, so if you want to bring your minifigs in for him to sign. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have a pen. Yeah, a, a mini. A mini. Yeah. A Lego. We do yeah. have Lego pens. Yeah. yeah, we do have Lego pens. So, there you go. All right, Where so on to, on to some good news. We got new stuff in this week. Uh, today, we got the new 40th anniversary alien NECA figures. Parker, uh, this guy finally got himself a figure. Brett? Brett, yeah. Yeah, and then we've got the bloody alien Bloody Alien. $24.99 each. Pretty awesome. Then you got your carbonized Boba Fett. Oh. We have been selling these like hotcakes. Um, we're getting down there. We haven't, right. We've only let's got a few let's left. Let's just say limited supply. Yeah. We, yeah, very limited supply. Very, very limited. Uh, Quite a few sold today as well. We got these in last week. Yeah, For anybody that hasn't gotten one yet. The Vintage Collection Boba Fetts. All right. We got the Beast in yesterday, I believe. The gray, yeah, yesterday. The Gray Beast that. variant on the card. We have a few of those. And then... Wayne Roberts got one yesterday. Nice. We got these in yesterday. Now with those, that is the Rock and Roll Over uh, set. There is a Cycle Circus set out that we could not get. We, we did not get in on the on we, time on those. So. We couldn't get those, but uh, uh, you know, it's... I didn't order fast enough. Oh, yeah, that's all right. I tried. We get we've got a lot of Kiss stuff recently. There's so. water on my kettle. I don't know where is it. Where is the sticker? We uh, we've we'll got a lot of Kiss stuff. Get there. that off of there. Yeah. That is garbage. There's a I don't know if Rex got a set of those or not. I, I haven't got a set of those yet. Yeah. We don't have any new product. Lucky it's on the sticker. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, so hey, the uh, the kiss set is sixty bucks. Sixty bucks for all four. We're only selling them by the set. Yeah. And uh, how much for uh, Beast? He is twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Uh, the Boba Fett's are thirty-five bucks. This Boba Fett. Yeah, those Boba Fett. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Seventeen ninety-nine. Seventeen ninety-nine here, service. and these are twenty-four ninety-nine each. So yeah. that's a pretty good price for those Nekas. Yeah. Yeah, those are uh, those are... Yep. And then uh, nice. what we have shipping. Honestly, I looked at the list. The only stuff we have shipping are pops right now. We have the the WWE. Uh, there's three or four different in the box with a chase. Right. There's a chase in there. Are you talking um, about the WWE Universe, WWE Universe Wave? Or are you talking yeah. about okay. yeah, Wave Two, I think, or something like that? And then we have Venom pops coming in, and some He-Man pops, and a Entertainment Earth exclusive Invader Zim pop. And we got somebody that came in yesterday is really excited for that one. So that's what we've had shipped so far. We'll come in next week. Right, cool. We got 500 pops up right now in this store. <laughs> So we've got 800 more to put out? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. I hope they're popular. We've got 500 of them. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> it's terrible. But yeah, we've got 500 pops up in the store. And it looks like we're, you know, it's a huge section of pops. So it is for pop hunters. Pop. For pop hunters. So more popular. likely what we'll do is as we sell, we'll just keep putting some out. There'll be a lot of pops, a lot of that this year. Yeah. And, Adam's here. Adam's new with the toys from the past. So yep. you start. might you might recognize him from. Uh, Didn't even get finished talking yet. Store. Yeah, he used to be in the coffee business. Yeah. Metal Arc community. Hi, folks. When we met in well, coffee house. Well, there's only a couple of coffee shops back then, though. Yeah, at the coffee house down P Street. It was just there the was coffee just, house in the mill. That was it. That was the only shops. A whole bunch of oddballs hanging out Dude. in the back room and yeah. having an awesome conversation. Just smoke everywhere. <laughs> you barely see. It barely see. Yep. Jared, how many times would you say you go to scooters in a week? Um, how many times do I go to scooters in a week myself? My probably, probably, probably not as much as me. Yeah. I go, my my thing with coffee is today I went to the coffee house. Uh, I go to the metal wherever I am. That's where I usually go. So if I'm right next to the mill, I'll walk in there. I I can basically say hi to about every single place and know the person yeah. a little bit that's working in there. So. 
sound like coffee. So he knew Adam, I knew Adam actually. Uh, I got re reacquainted with Adam. Adam and I used to ride the school bus together. Yeah, Norris. Uh, Norris. Finally, another Ooh. person from Norris. I wouldn't have thought Adam was that old. <laughs> <laughs> he was younger. He's younger. The bikes. A well, little bit younger. I put cucumbers under my eyes. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. I do too, but I forget to slice them and then I get <laughs> wow. Speaking of that, we have massive cucumbers right now from Waverly Auctions. I do have night. a whole bunch in the back of the van. I forgot to take Massive. Them. Oh, yeah. No. You're talking actual cucumbers. Yes. 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 Well, we've got a segment. Uh, we're going to need three participants, though, so we'll probably bring Adam in. Kick the gremlin to the side. All right. Yep, Grandma's yeah. getting in. He's, he's leaving. Hey, Mark! Mark, how you doing? Mark! I just, I just put him in the sunlight there? Yeah, I kicked him out here. He got wet. That's what happened. Mark got wet. Gone. It's going to be Hayden versus Rex versus Adam. Okay. Just like that? Yep. Well, it's Rextimation. Rextimation. Oh. So, <laughs> this is Rextimation. I'm digging this. 1983. Go ahead and Mike, show it off. 1983. Wish book. Sears Wish Book. Sears Wish Book. Everybody remember these? When you were a kid, this is how we got our Christmas Mom present. handed it to you and said, circle what you want. I was negative three. That's I, that is not, that. That's not worked for me. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah. I got the scorecard here. It was an X for me. <laughs> you yeah. guys X I, I had X my guy. Oh, it was a circle. I, what, my mom went through with the X's oh, after I did the circle. Yeah. Nope. What are we going to start nope. with? Master's Universe? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We have nine questions for you, so there will be a winner. And now, all we need is your estimation of what the price was in 1983. And none of you guys got to do this ahead of time, so you don't know. Well, I kind of look at this thing all the time because, well. No idea. And inflation's gone quite a right. uh, quite yeah, a bit so right. here today, so, so yes. I got to imagine. Yeah. Mike likes to stare at it while he's reading. Yeah, Mike. Masters <laughs> of the Universe. <laughs> Point Dread and Talon Fighter, including record and book. And Point Dread, we talked about that, two wings, stands on top. So then we just throw that number out? You, yeah. Wherever you want, to, you want to start down with that end since, and work this way. And since then, Adam's new with us, you right. get first go. Thanks, and that, you cannot go over. No problem, it's just like Price of Right. Just like Price okay. is Right, you cannot um, go over. If, if, some, if Rex, if you say $1, Right. That's kind of juvenile. Can't do that one. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say 1999, Bob. Okay. All right. Uh, 1499. Okay. okay. Or, uh, right? 999. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Somebody got it exactly right. Oh, $100 in my pocket. No, just kidding. <laughs> or a scoop of ice cream for the person that got it right on. And winning the first point in the race to nine is Hayden with 14. Oh, yeah. 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 All, wow. All you gotta win is five. First got five. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. The, the, the rare <laughs> elusive only gotten through this exact catalog right here. The Sears G.I. Joe Cobra Commander headquarters that oh. came with the three figures. It was all cardboard. Right That's there. the set right there, and it came with these three figures. I have had one of these in the last 20 years, other than the one I owned when I was a kid. And I've never that seen it. That lasted maybe a That's day. That's going to be tough on you guys. Never seen it on Mike's the, picking never the seen it in person. Where are we at? Um, I'm going to say oh. uh, $39.99. Now, i got to remember, this is 1983. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-four ninety-nine. I'm gonna say uh, nineteen ninety-nine. Oh, All of you went over. You were all oh, the way over. Okay. It's cardboard. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm, cardboard I'm imagining mostly plastic. Cardboard with three figures, with three figures no uh, plastic. Ten ninety-nine. Adam. Hmm? Dragon. You're all over. Oh, we're all over. Jeez. Yep. Um, did we say nine ninety-nine yet? No. You did just now. Uh, Twelve ninety-nine. And the winner is Adam. Adam. Booyah! Nice. 11 dollars $11.99. $11.99. Right. $11.99. Make sure that you see this thing for okay. real. Okay. okay. All right. Let me see what I can do. Right. Right. Next. It's actually a cool thing to, to see. Though. It, it is. Yeah. Well, the catalog is fun. That catalog is. I actually had that train set 
Okay, well, everybody has seen the G.I. Joe headquarters, right? The plastic one. Yes. It's yeah. got the gun in the middle. You've all seen yeah. it? Yes. Okay. We know what they sell for today. Not very much. <laughs> okay. All right. right. So, the G.I. Joe headquarters command center. Should be this one right here. You could put your, your tank on one oh. side, your helicopter out on the landing pad. The vamp. It's got the jail. The vamp had a spot. Yep. And yep. Spots. We're gonna start. Who would be? We'd be starting at Rex now. Let's start at Rex. So we'll go fair. Uh, twenty nine ninety nine. Oh. Uh, Thirty nine. No, no, we go to Adam. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Did you say thirty nine ninety nine? He says twenty nine ninety nine. I say thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. Uh, Thirty four ninety nine. Okay, we're all tied. I can tell you, it was the most expensive GI Joe item in the catalog. At $32.99. Rex on the board. Oh, this is a, a three horses in this race. <laughs> Six. Doing All right. It. Doing it. My favorite. Everybody yeah. knows what Castle Grayskull is. Yes. Yeah. It's what every human guy has. Castle Grayskull. <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's the price. Okay. Who goes first? Hayden? Would be Hayden. Uh, Rex? Uh, 29 dollars I'm going to say, see, I feel like that's a expensive guy. But, is this $27.99? Ding, 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 ding. Somebody again got it right on the money. $24.99. dollars dollars Rain Man the book? <laughs> <laughs> Justin Hawkins. You might have read this book. Yeah. Did you fall asleep with that up here? Yeah, let's go here. Yeah, let's right. go here. All right. Two scoops of ice cream. Ooh. In one cup, though. Not okay. Yeah, we're not giving you. Atari 5200 <laughs> console. We got it right over there, too, if you want to come in and see it on our opening day. In the box. It came with... Uh, did this one come... It came with a lot of stuff. I think it came with one game, but I'm not sure. Two controllers. Yep, two controllers and Super Breakout. Oh, yeah. Okay, boys and girls. Who's first? It would be to you. $99.99. Okay. Atari 5200, to you. Uh, $69.99. I'm actually doing two. Adam with the win, one forty nine ninety nine. That is expensive. And that's like the rich kids, right? Yeah. Like Bias kids. There, yeah. In the spring, in, in the spring book, in the spring book, it was one hundred nine ninety nine, but not the Christmas catalog. They jacked that baby up. Fifty dollars up. Right. How many more we need? We, we need. We, we're at five. We got four more. Right. So let's go to the Star Wars. Yeah, go to the front. Got, got oh, oh, the sleeping bags are cool. Too. And the Vinny, the Vinny, yeah, look at that one. To the Knight Rider. Oh, with Night Rider sleeping, sleeping, sleeping bag with active bag. Is that the bag? What is active oh, bag? Oh, crap. Bags extra. <laughs> yeah, add ons? Yeah. Never mind. You just I get the sleeping bag. Okay. Up. Just a Night Rider sleeping bag in 1983. Machine washable slumber bags. Boy, what this stuff used to be so cool. Who goes first? It would be Hayden. Uh, 1999. Rex. Adam? Hayden got that one. Hayden again. 2199. Do <laughs> you believe it? 22 bucks. No, no. Laying on the floor. Like, no smurfs? Huh? Smurfs. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. Still has the order for a minute. Smurfs are priceless. I got this. I got this black. Uh, oh, here we go. There. Star Wars section in the right. front, by the way. All the other toys are in the back. That's odd. They paid, probably paid him money. Probably said, hey, oh, okay. put our stuff okay. on the book. Great set. Three more questions is all we got. Inc includes Salacious Crumb. Okay. I know some of you people can't pronounce that. I think I got it figured out. All right. So the Job of the Hut play set. Rex. That one's 16. Adam. Um, Job of the Hut. He said 16 Yes. I'm going to 
1899. Everybody over? Back Everybody over. Uh, yeah. Adam? 1199. Hayden. 1199. Hayden again. Hayden again. <laughs> We store. have one in the store, right here. That one right there. Where is this? Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. Extremely rare. Extremely rare. Right. Who goes first? Who went first last time? Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, wait, you said so, <laughs> so it would be, uh, it would be Adam. Yep. Okay. Uh, toy box, I'm going to say five ninety nine. Oh. It's a big toy box. I'm gonna go low. Okay, Aiden. Uh, <laughs> let's do uh, twenty-six ninety-nine. Rex. I'm doing Rex. So twenty-four ninety-nine. Oh, that officially, yeah. we are out of questions. That officially, no, we got go one, one more. more. One more. Sorry, we got one more. Yeah, one more. <laughs> one just because I want to. Okay. Okay. This is pretty awesome. I think it's one of the very first digital audio disc player. All right. In other words, I'll show it to you here. One of the first CD players. 1983? 1983. I'll say it's 1983. Okay. Starting off, who starts? So it started with you. It's, you, yeah. Uh, let's go uh, 300. Okay. To Rex? 700. I'll say 49.99. Hayden has won it. Yeah! Oh! There's all five. Five hundred and eighty-nine dollars wow. for one of the very first um, CD players. Congratulations! Oh well, yeah, it was like you a wedding get, singer. When you get five CD scoops player. in. Yeah, yeah. it's five scoops, yeah. and you have to eat it all in one machine. bite. <laughs> a beta machine was three hundred and eighty dollars for beta. Yeah. And so that's not a laser disc. That's just an audio. That's an audio. Yeah. There's no video. I didn't even have video at that time. It was just beta and VHS. So, well, while you're up here, Adam, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. All right. Um, Five minutes. Hi, Adam. Adam. I'm uh, Adam. I, um, yeah, I've known Jared for a long time. I've known Rex for a long time. Uh, you know, I'm a guy just like like y'all that enjoy watching these videos and enjoy the store and, and the old, old plastic and new well sculpted plastic um, that's one thing i jared said don't bring anything but i'm a guy that works well with props so uh, <laughs> recently i've been reading this book called pop sculpture and uh, it's about how to sculpt and make action figures oh. and it's been yeah, it's, it's, it's a super yeah. cool book um it's called called pop sculpture and so it's it's about how to cast and use resin and stuff like that how to make joints and it really kind of helps you appreciate all the work that goes into making these different figures yeah. so you know just like you know instead of you know as an example in the book you know somebody sketched like a guy that had the world spinning on his finger well mm -hmm. making a figure like that you can't really do it because of gravity and stuff like that so you got to think about how gravity is going to affect a figure how it's going to stand, how you're going to mount it. It also goes into sculptures and stuff like that. Oh, that's too. Really cool. It's just, that's cool. it's just a super cool book. So I've been really diving into that. I started kind of like uh, casting and making molds and stuff like that, having fun doing that. So I've just really doing that. My my big thing, my big love is is um, vintage Star Wars stuff. So when I come in here, it's it's I get all kinds of endorphins just shooting <laughs> off, and it's uh, the one of the coolest and funnest places in Lincoln. It's a big honor to be a part of it. Thanks, Adam. I'm glad there's lots of pictures. Yeah, it's a it's a picture book. Yeah. I like pictures. Yeah. What are you working on? You did a what was your latest project for Star Wars, though? My well, my latest project for Star Wars was restoring um, a vintage snow speeder. So. You know, like, I mean, I'm sure all of you guys have seen, like, you know, these shells of Millennium Falcons and stuff right. like that. And it's just kind of. 
um, I have seen like a trend on eBay too, where people buy like you know halfway complete items and then sell the parts off and stuff like that. I'm kind of the reverse of that. I, I like to go and put these back together so there's you know, either something close to complete, and functional, or all the way complete. So my focus right now in this year will be the snow speeder. Some of those parts get pretty expensive, so it's just really awesome to be a part of it and you know, be a part of toy making in a way. Yep. Very cool. Well, let's see here. We got. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go. You want to go, bud? Okay. It's time. Yay! Oh, second one. Rex, too many props. Too many what? Oh, you're stepping my box? Yeah. That kind of hurts. Anyway. Careful, take it out. It's only about uh, 250 bucks. $300. Matt, how are you doing? Pretty good. Um, good. How's everybody doing? Doing good. All right. Well, I haven't been seeing you for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been a pretty busy week for my family and I. But um, I'm not going to show anything today. I just want to talk. So um, one thing that I want to kind of mention at first is that I understand that with the whole COVID, you might be going through your houses and trying to get stuff done. I personally am doing that too. But you might stumble across some Legos that you don't want anymore. And I just want to say, feel free to bring them in the toys in the past. We'll take Legos, pieces, sets. Even just like Basically. something that you think that probably wouldn't sell, but it's still Lego, we might actually take it. So I just want to kind of oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, somebody donated. Yeah, you haven't even seen it yet. Yeah, same thing. Whole bunch of Legos that got donated. Same. Just donated. A lot of work for you, Max. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but as, as soon as we get Legos into this, this new store or a new place, then, then I'll probably be getting the work to make the. Um, Lego um, section of the store in number two. And you're uh, you're getting ready to start school here real soon, aren't you? Yes, I just had the reason why I looked so nice today is because I actually had my ID picture <laughs> taken. You look no, nice. Always so nice. 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 Dressed for the night. So you, when do you start? You start um, August 12th. You start August 12th? Yeah. What days do you go? Um, I think I go on, I don't know what certain days. But I do know that um, my last name starts with an M, so I'll go in any days that like are from. Oh, so you sure about you're that? you're gonna be yeah Lego Max. That's Lego. an M. <laughs> yeah. I thought it started with an L. <laughs> Lego first, Lego, right? Lego L M. Lego Max. Uh, uh. So M, you're you're going uh, Monday and Tuesday, and then you're alternating on Wednesday. And then, okay. Yeah, it's very interesting what they did for. Yeah. 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 For anybody. That that isn't from here. Doesn't know the uh, whole schedule thing about our school. And it's it's it's, it's fun. different. Yeah. <laughs> so half half Zoom, half in person. How do you know the school schedules? Watch the state five hundred. Well, while we're good, good for you. Watching the news. How about a little shout out to my wife who officially works for LPS as a. Yeah. Hey! Congratulations. She's an official teacher, not a sub anymore. Now, she was pretty happy about that today. We got cookies. Uh, what's she teaching? Uh, ELL. So, you know. So. What's that? Yeah. English learner's language. So. And uh, canto un poco, like she, it's she helps second the languages. kids that have moved to the country, which there isn't that many right now. But there, well, there is. But, uh, Small classrooms. Yeah, she helps them speak English. Okay, so she's fluent in uh, like three languages. Like 20 languages. 20 languages? Yeah. I did not. Not 20. 20 or 30. I believe it. 19. More like 40. No. Rex and I are just getting a handle on English. So. Some days. Some days. Some days. Yeah, yeah. we're getting better. Oh, Your gibberish is great. Speak yeah, English. Speak bad. <laughs> My wife says things. So, oh, yeah. Uh, it's about time, Prisco. Yeah. yeah. So, awesome. you know, I had to scramble today to find somebody to run the Tessie's coming back. Get out, really? Anybody who knows Tessie from Shivers, <laughs> she's going to be helping run Scoops. No kidding. Scoops number one. Scoops number one, but. And Scoops number two. A little bit of new news there also. So, yes. north side of town, 70th and Vine. Coming soon. Yes, uh, for those who have told you. Max! Gosh. No! No, Max is over here. <laughs> 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 We, we are not putting the scoops in the toys. Not right now. Not right now. It's going to be uh, 
Seventy and Vine, you said? Seventy and Vine, Metal. Seventy and Vine, and we're here at Seventy and Van Dorn, so we're students, so. There you go. Yeah. I had a vanilla shake the other day, and it was amazing. One of the best details about that was that you guys have the big, thick straws. Oh, yeah. Like oh, yeah. Because oh. I go to other places that have shakes, and their freaking straws are so small, mm -hmm. you can't get any. Yeah, our, our, our can't get any like shake. Can't get any shake. It collapses yeah, it down. Yeah. Turns into milk. It's a uh, right. shake collapse syndrome is the medical term. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, like, you, you guys have nice, straws, big straws that... They work, they function. We were brain freezing, Adam and I. I was brain freezing. Yeah, I, I, I passed out. Thankfully, I didn't hit my head on the pump floor. <laughs> <laughs> so it was that good. Was, you got Rex in review next. All right, we got to let Max finish it. Yeah. Yeah. I interrupted. Oh, you interrupted Max? Right, I did. Go ahead. Oh, oh, well, you guys are. Uh, well, but once again, um, yeah, if you have any Legos that you've discovered in your house and you don't really want them, just feel free to bring them on over. And um, a second thing that I wanted to bring up today was Rex noticed that at a Walmart, the Lego Mario sets were finally released. That's right. Yep, he showed me a picture, and I was pretty impressed because I've, I've seen a lot about the Lego Mario online. If you don't know, Lego has decided to get the Nintendo license and create Mario Lego sets. There's, it's a whole feature. It's actually um, where if you buy a $60 set, it includes the Lego Mario, the only set that includes Lego Mario, yes. and it has like this technical feature of the Mario where he can actually scan platforms and it'll like make sound effects of like what would what happen. And like you get to build your own courses and most like the characters are brick built, which is a bit of a complaint because most people wanted Lego Mario to be minifigure scale, or like minifigures. But overall, it's pretty impressive. And so um, I think the thing with Lego is that with the whole COVID thing, can I say that word? COVID? Yeah. yeah. You can yeah. say that. Don't, you, don't you, say the W word. Yeah, don't say, don't say the other C word. <laughs> 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah, don't, oh, that too, that too. Okay, well, but, yeah, with the whole everything being pushed back, Lego's been kind of in a struggle getting their Legos out, and so it's pretty interesting that the Lego Mario sets figure out to work their ways in the stores, and so other than that, that concludes the Lego Max segment. So the, the Lego Mario I saw were, they were, uh, um, blue, like, blue, is it Bluetooth, or have you read anything on it? It's, it's electric. Yes, it is electric. It's, it yeah. runs through an app on the phone, yeah. and then it connects with Lego Mario, which is, has some technic parts in it. And what it does is like, um, this is... The eyes change. Yes, the eyes like change, and like, it'll make sounds. So as you like, move Lego Mario, you'll put them on a barcode. That is a pre-applied sticker, a first thing for Lego. At the, so at the mm -hmm. factory, they pre-apply these barcode stickers. And so when you put Lego Mario on there, it'll like, make a sound, or like, on his, or like, it'll show that you got it. What if you don't have a smartphone? You're just well, then, you're, oh, you're then you're dumb. Probably living in 2000. So how many different sets are coming out for the Lego Mario yeah. line? Um, I, I, there's a, I want to say there was like four or five that I saw, it, and then there was also <laughs> many things. And well, so like you get a Luigi with the, like Luigi, Luigi with one set, Princess Peach with another. Um, there was there is, there is no Princess Peach or Luigi yet. What? Rex does not work for Walmart. He just knows quite a bit about what they have. <laughs> Rex does a lot of shopping. <laughs> I go, I I go like, in the end. You know what? We're toys. We're, uh, you got to set them down. That is true. Yeah, there is it's a whole bunch of sets. Yep. How big is Mario? About that. Yeah. Yeah. So he's larger to kind of you the technology. Yes. You're multifaceted. But yeah, it's a first for Lego, and it's pretty interesting. I thought that Rex showed up today, and I figured, why not talk about it on the show for a little bit? So, um, other than that, thanks for listening. And then that concludes the Lego Max segment. It's Max! That was awesome. Get out of here. Get. Rex and Review. Thanks, Rex. All right, so it's time for Rex Review. But what we're going to talk about real quick is we've had a lot of news over the week uh, concerning the San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be able to make it. That happened. It was at virtual, home. virtual con. <laughs> uh, at home, it's virtual con. Con. So there was quite a few things that uh, we uh, were probably uh, ordering. We're going to have okay. every, every day. Diamond Select announced the crow. Is so the when crow I'm putting on my costumes at home now, I can yes. say I'm virtual conning. You, you That's leave, right. You okay. leave them at home, then you snap oh. a picture, then you take it. You know. I did order that figure, by the way, the crow. The crow. Yeah. All right. So. We did order the Dino Select Crow, uh, Doc Brown, 1955. Doc Brown. Doc Brown. Ordered. Ordered. 
Uh, it's Ghost Paste from NECA. Order. Order. Good. All right. And, Diamonds uh, Life, Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack Sparrow. Ordered. Ordered. Uh, multi DC Multiverse. What we got for that? Mm. You didn't order the Multiverse ones. There's a. There's we didn't a get a lot, lot of. Numbers. We didn't get a lot of love when we ordered the last. Two. We got a lot of Multiverse stuff for all you DC fans when you come and, to the new store. That's but. right. Miles, we can keep ordering them. Right. Uh, the, let's see. The the new Deadpool wave is out. The When's pirate. the head coming out? What's that? When's the, the head coming? Head? The head comes out in December. December. Is it December? I think. It's, or maybe it is. I it's like, maybe it is yeah. October. Yeah. Very excited about that. Sometimes yeah. So there's a lot of good stuff coming out because because there wasn't a convention or a uh, actual San Diego Comic Con. There was virtual con, and they showed a lot of stuff. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how I missed this. Okay. How did I miss virtual con? It's been, it was on like throughout the entire weekend. I mean, they, it wasn't I like yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't it like a much time in reality. That's yeah, there, there was a few things that uh, that they showed. We like, knocked off at seven on Saturday, so you could have got a little bit. Of it. Yeah, yeah. but I did. What well, you knocked off at seven? I did. I real real, real quick, we're going to do a little well, review. Got we got a closed. couple reviews here. These are wacky packages. If anybody remembers the wacky packages, oh, they came geez. out in the seven sixties or seventies. Yep. So then they were actually uh, baseball cards, and now they are three D, three D little. Here's my wrapper. These these are made these are made by World Smallest. World Smallest, and, and we will be carrying them. these in the new store. Are we carrying the uh, World Smallest line? Oh, yep, we're going to carry the entire line. This is. Jolly Mean Giant Peas. <laughs> they reached out for me. Really, <laughs> make the world's really smallest cool. joke. <laughs> scram. Oh, you got a can of Scram? I got a can of Scram. I got a can of Moron Salt. I got right there. Fishbone Russian Dressing. Or as Jared calls it, <laughs> Fishbone. Just salt. salt. <laughs> I got Cop Tarts. Cop tarts. Cop tarts. Well, you want to know what's we great about these, these is they're little products made from the original wacky packs. Yeah, they're actually uh, yeah, they're they're actual the old ones from the 70s. That's very cool. 60s. Okay, what else we got? You got any more of them? And then we got, got, and then we got and band aids strips. Sorbers. Oh, here's the sticker. Each one gets a sticker. You know what I think when I look at these guys, like how how fun these would be in like dioramas. That's oh, what we yeah. got. Yeah. We're already talking about scales. It's probably about twelve so, inch scale. Yeah. It's for the so, gremlins. So these yeah, for gremlins. For the gremlins. Yeah. These Sorbers, are, which is by the way, I got a hundred medicine. I think I got a hundred and sixty three V or lights on the gremlin that the leg broke off. Oh wait, yeah, the next uh, gremlin figure I have, the leg broke off. I put a crutch. With it, 163 lengths on the NECA side. Break more on the next side? On the NECA, yeah. Those are yours. Yeah, as long as they're mine. Yes, they are mine. Uh, so, anyway, is that your most ever NECA, likes? 163? I, I think so, yeah. I, I think so. But these are available as two packs for $11.99. Uh, they are also $5.99 for an individual pack. Uh, these are really cool. I'm excited to get these in the store. So uh, I cannot wait till we can order these. That way we can build dioramas. Because that's yeah, exactly I, I can what we'll see do. Deadpool eating uh, all of us. Uh, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, like, yeah. I hope we can sell some to you guys. Uh, Sean, the new store is so, opening uh, August eighth. Grand opening. Oh, yeah, August. You, may, Grand you may have to find another auctioneer for that day, Sean. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. Eight, eight eight like infinity. So right. Today right. So today, today I did do a little shopping by the way, and I got I actually found these. Uh, they were. Now on clearance for five bucks a piece. So again, again, diorama. Diorama. Oh. I'm going to put the uh, Stranger Thing uh, things kids with them. Oh, nice! But they're actually going to be. Uh, I'm thinking about the uh, Demon Gorgon. Yeah. Just going to break, be breaking through and knocking them down. So okay. I'm have them leveled like this. Have so you have a small Demon Gorgon. You have a little green, green one. No, I have the big. Oh, you have the big dog. Okay. I have the big dog. So that's going to be pretty cool. These are the uh, NECA Iron Maiden figures. Uh, the first one to come out was the Trooper. We sold out of that and we had to reorder. We're on our second uh, second order of shipment now. We, we do have some here at the store. Well, they did a few. 
back in the day too that were on blister burns too. But, the tree leaders. They did, and they're, they're There's a little more expensive. With the, uh, cigar and the gun. It was. Uh, those are McFarland. Oh, those are McFarland. Yeah, those yeah. are yeah. McFarland. These are. Uh, these the neck ones came out uh, shortly mm -hmm. after the neck got rid of the license. I did not. So we got peace of mind right here. This is the last one that had come out. Then this one got restocked. This is the new one. This is the Iron Maiden Power Slave, Eddie the Pharaoh. And let me just show you this, how this is, uh, you know, the body's underneath full articulation. It's wrapped. When was the, there's no joints. We had his bust at one point, too. There, there, yeah, that bust. That yeah, bust. Yeah, that bust. Like a... uh, your dad didn't buy it, did he, Joe? Somebody, somebody, no, somebody, no, no, the guy that, that bought the carbonized Han Solo, the life size yeah, that's, one. That's right, he bought the bus at the right. same time. Yeah, the bus looked like this. Uh, Except it was massive. It was, yeah, it's it right was, there. The head doesn't huge. move a whole lot. You know, it's you know, it turns back and forth. Uh, some really good. Uh, yeah, you can't see the joints, which I thought was yeah, I think it's really cool. I thought it was jointed when I first looked at it. But that's amazing. That's cool. Yeah, and however, as much as I like to uh, mess around with this, I don't want to bend the arm because neck it does have a bad habit of the joints free, you know, breaking. And it hurts the resale value. And it does hurt the resale value. And I don't, you know, Rex is trying to get free advertising stuff from NECA, so don't talk about it. I am too, yeah. but I'm, I'm also that I'm alive. <laughs> we need a NECA sign, by the way, NECA. We do. We'll share this on your Facebook page. Oh, yeah. I know we need a NECA sign. So yeah, this little uh, this one is available here at Toys from right. the Past at thirty five bucks. So if you're a higher maiden fan, you're thirty four ninety nine. We got get it right. We got left. I think we have four. Four left. Or did you buy two? How many cases did we get? Of this? If you pay that extra penny, Rex will do a little dance for you. No, I think we just got one case. Yeah, one case. I think we're down to like four. So. So yeah, come into the store Monday through Sunday, 11 to 8. Nice. Hey, Aiden, uh, what do you got? Speaking of uh, old NECA, did Taylor get a shot of our, yeah. our NECA section? Our we got cool. some don't really get too old, close. Yeah, we've got some really good old just, stock just in there. Just wet their palate. Yeah, don't get too close. Just put, don't, don't show them the, the old That's stuff the new. on top. Show them the To the right, to the right. You've got Damn, really fast. Really fast. Really fast. Blurry, blurry, blurry. blurry. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there is a new old stock necklace section at the new store. Meaning, <laughs> I don't know if I told you about this, but I bought a really great collection a few weeks ago. Tony did buy a and very big collection. It's, it's new got, old stock. Yeah, I was going to ask this, you. Yeah, me and uh, me and Hayden, uh, <laughs> this collection came in about three or four weeks ago, and uh, it just kept coming in. It just That's kept coming thing. in. Like, we what? thought we thought it was going to stop, but they were they, this little <laughs> car. Like a clown car. It that size. Huh? Right there. That size? Yes. yes. Oh, it was that small. Well, yeah, it was a small car. Yeah, it just it did it a lot of stuff. Yeah, it was a space. Uh, it's a TARDIS. <laughs> yes. What, what you got, Dave? Dave, what do you have? Oh, I just grabbed you know, some stuff from around the store. We, we have the whole the, Matrix set over there. Yeah, I got the whole Series 1 Matrix <laughs> set over here. Uh, obviously, we still have classics, you know, classics gold. We got a few. Yeah. Just a couple. <laughs> if you're looking for Matrix, though, we definitely we definitely have it. If you're looking for We've Matrix, got some older, like, Toy Biz Legends. A lot of them are, like, still in the like, box on the card. And oh, we, we have, have a few loose ones over there. And so one, two, two. A bunch of Star Wars stuff, that's for sure. Is that one Sasquatch? <laughs> yeah, you got Sasquatch here from X-Men. Cool deal. Whole, wor Roundup. whole world's Roundup. out of quarters right now. The whole world's out of quarters. That's what they're telling us. Right? You want to be on the show? Say hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Only, Lindsay. The, only the kindest employees down there. <laughs> so we've got, yeah. we got Animal Crossing. What's that well, about? we got Animal Crossing here because we put out I don't know, six vintage systems with some of their top games. And so I'm an Animal Crossing fan. And Animal Crossing has been out since the GameCube. It's on... We, it's on Universe, it's on Switch. Switch, the Switch one we haven't got to yet. My kids still think it's only out on Wii, so they don't even need to know that. So. But this was my favorite Animal Crossing game. That's how it all got started. So, Mark, who's not here, lived in my town. And uh, you could have four people in your town. 
And I'd go over there and deface his property, pull his flowers all up, and ruin everything about his town. But yeah, you got four people in your town. This was an amazing game. And we actually have it. Of course we do, but we have it with you know, instructions. You can actually destroy Oh, yeah. Is that, is that the idea of the game, is to go and make friends and then... Yeah, them? yeah. That, well, much he'd it? be like, someone picked all my, you know, someone knocked down all my apples, my oranges, someone tramped my flowers, you know. So, so it's basically the same as Coin Master. It was the very first Coin Master. Again. He had this big Cardinals. He's a Cardinals fan. I'm not. So he put that Cardinals. Every time I had this Cardinals flag, I'd, I'd grow in all his flowers. So forty nine ninety nine on Animal Crossing. That's not bad. But these are the kind of games you're going to be able to find here. I mean, Joe, how many cool games were over there? Oh, a lot. Great Jeez. rare games. Rare, yeah. rare games, and so for every system that we have over there, we have we got Mario Kart and a couple different systems over there. Yeah, you can find that anywhere. The big one is, is you guys got um, my opinion. The big ones that you guys got is Conker's Bad Fur Day for the Nintendo 64. Oh, that right. is a yeah, very, Conker's really that is yeah. a very rare game for the 64. If you if it works, kind of had a blast. It does. Oh, yeah. it's it's oh, it's an does. amazing game. Oh, it works. We kind of had a blast pricing games and bringing the new stuff because it's the only place you're going to be able to find. There's other ga there's other game shops, but the, a lot of their high end games go you no, know, they just go to eBay you know, because they can get the maximum amount of money there. Sure. We yeah. sell games to our customers. We're, we're not a high end game shop. No. We're so not we a game them, shop, but we carry games. So we sell them to our customers. We don't put them on eBay because we just don't want to. Right. Yeah. So cool. there's a lot of things like that. I only brought Animal Crossing because that's the one I like. I've never played it. Never with me. I've never oh seen man, it. you have to. You have, you start with this little hut. You know, you got to find a job. I mean, I worked for Tom Nook for the longest time. I fished. I forged. Uh, you could forge fish. Yeah, oh, we still do. What am I saying? And the kids love. Like, yeah, they still do. My kids are like. So you because you had to fish. Forge and fish and then fish and forge. And right, that's what I would do. I don't want to work a regular job. Are you kidding me? That's so much fish. <laughs> I got a job set. Yeah, you want yeah. to go out and fish every morning. I sold turnips. That was a big way to make money on there. Turnip. So if you can't, <laughs> if you can't farm turnips, you know what the, what's the quote for the office? Farmers, farmers, farmers who can't, who can't farm, farm, farm farm celery. Yep. <laughs> but no, I farm. I farm turnips. The game was so fun. If you have a GameCube, get it for your kids. They'll have a blast. All ages play that game. But so, man, it's a whole world inside itself. The more money you make, the bigger your house gets. And, you know, it's just like America. It gets as much stuff as we possibly can. It's stuff the house. It's exactly like a marathon. So, <laughs> Rex, part of nothing is stuff that make a mansion out of it. Rex, what's the countdown for Bill and Ted 3? Uh, you know, actually, I don't. Uh, did, they, did they decide to do it in September or no? Is it November? September 1st, VOD and theatrical yes. simultaneous release. Yeah, they're, uh, they're going to put it right on Hulu. Oh, it looks awesome. I'm a little sad. I want to see that. I want the theaters open. Come on! All right, what, what we'll bring the sanitizer in there. Safety what, first. What do you think of the new trailer? That's all we're having. What do you think of the new trailer? They're showing more and more. I think it's those two. I, they, uh, it's going to be on Blu-ray. It's going to be good. And speaking of movie, uh, 4K Blu-ray, 4K Back to the Future trilogy. Oh. Uh, is being released. I've heard of that. Hovering, what's, what's 4K? Hovering. Hovering. Good. The resolution. They're yeah. also uh, including. Um, okay. I just got to be real. From yeah. Other actors that came in. Mm -hmm. What's he? Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, lock, the lost. Horrible. You think I'm serious? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, Seventy-five inch in my living room. Come on. <laughs> it, it, it's a. It's a. It's a really good. Right. See his when truck. I, when I bought the TV, thirty-six inch tires. I, I got it home. So, I got. I got it home, and we went to put it on the TV stand. <laughs> And it's way too small. And it is also the 25-year anniversary of Waterworld. Oh, what's that? I, mean, I know. Waterworld. Yeah, 25 One of my years. favorite movies. It's a very I underrated do. film. It I is. love it. I love Kevin Costner. I think we've had this conversation before. I, I have a version that is favorite Kevin Costner movie. 178 minutes long of Waterworld. That is a long time, Rex. There's the U Ulysses cut. That's, that's the cut. Then. Yeah, I've got that. I think cut. Dennis Hopper makes that whole movie. Robbie checking in from Seattle. Oh, yeah. You got trivia? Smokers? I'm getting there. We're running out of time, guys. Well, yeah, you're running out of time. What time is it? You got five minutes. Oh, we got time to talk about Kevin Costner. Okay, favorite right. Kevin Costner movie, go. I, I'll talk about it because he does his books. Okay. Thanks. It's yeah. Conk Opachi. Very good. That's Which one? Good. I, I don't know any. Oh. It's okay. You're fired. <laughs> you might be a bad 
Homework. You know the prices of things in 1983. Oh, you took it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going Bull Durham. Gosh, you took Untouchables. You know, one that is really fitting today, which I think we may be heading in that direction. Okay. The Postman. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I watched it again the other night. Yeah. My wife's yeah. like, are you watching this again? <laughs> the Untouchables. <laughs> Whenever You're going to be up for it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Beth yeah, said Robin Hood. Yeah. Like, Robin Hood, okay. I love, so Robin, oh, I love Robin Hood. I love Robin Hood. I was going to say Robin Hood. Hood. That, was, that was me and my wife's wedding dance oh. song. And, uh, Everything I do, I do it for you. And, and our, DJ, our DJ decided to play the 11-minute version. Was it Craig? Oh, man. It was Craig Brown. Yes. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Wait, was it really? You know Craig Brown? It wasn't Craig Escadillo. No, I just said I, no. I was just saying Craig. No, wait, said no, it was Keith was... Brown. Keith. Keith played the eleven. What yes. eleven minute version? So my there's an eleven dancing minute, minute 11 version. Minutes. We're out there dancing. It, it was like six minutes in. My wife's like, "Why is this taking so long?" And we're like, <laughs> "Yeah, we're done. Let's like, turn it off." We yeah. actually did that. So I did not know there was an eleven minute version. I don't know that I've danced with my wife since. I'm not a dancer. I have. She's pretty good dancer. Is she? Yeah, yeah. we were celebrating her getting a job. And I got oatmeal raisin cookies. Sweet. She didn't come in here physically dancing, basically, about the job. So that's how it happens. I, I didn't notice. All I cared about was the cookies. Tony ate two cookies. Okay. Trivia. Three. Two I, cookies. My, my wife says definitely cookie. not water world. All, All right. right. Trivia. All right. For a $25 gift card to Scoops or Toys from the Past. Ooh, boom. What flavor of ice cream was I eating when we started the show? Taylor know. even asked me. I didn't even get offered to get ice cream before the show. Well, I figured I'd rub it in a little bit more than right. I was eating ice cream. I was just waiting for pizza. Well, you didn't have pizza either. We didn't have anything. So what flavor of ice cream was I eating before the show? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yeah. Because I made them last night. Oh, Beth! No, 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 Beth won last week, right? Yeah, she? Beth is winning like every week. Beth is a teacher. She's required to respond. Beth, be honest. <laughs> did you win last week? Beth, did you win last week? Look at how some of us turned out. Teachers are not on tracks. We don't carry the bunny. Joel says it was yellow. Beth did not win last week. She is the winner. Oh, Beth is the winner. All right. Well, just tell us. She is. Please, Beth. Has she been coming in to get the gift cards? Yeah. She's yep. okay. she casters in at the toy store the other day. Did she? She bought a few figures. I'm sure she did. <laughs> she got one for free. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, Does Beth she has the winner. Ticket? Oh, she has a ticket. Beth has a ticket. She has a ticket. Yeah. She's got a golden ticket. Well, is, that, is, that, is that the only trivia we got for tonight? That's all we came up with. That's all I came up with. Well, I thought it was a pretty good one. We had a good thing set up with the sun guys. Yeah, yeah, the sun kind of took away. I, I, do you guys want to do another trivia question? Because I have this amazing book called The Jedi Master's Quiz Book. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I used Whoa. to have that. All right, $10 Go gift it. card. Toy Story all right. Scoop. I'm just going to flip through it. What, what book is it again? It's called uh, The Jedi, Jedi Master's Quiz Book. book. So 425 cosmic questions and answers about Star Wars and the Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Look at that artwork. That's some Ralph Macquarie, I think. I don't know. It's amazing. Anyway, um, how about this one? What's it for? What's it for, my $10 dollar. $10 gift card. $10. No. Scoops or Toy Store. Better be a good one. Oh. Or you're fired. <laughs> no, okay, this one's kind of easiest. <laughs> Easy-ish. What were the wings on an X Fighter called? Say it again. What were the wings on an X Fighter called? Well, if we're not calling them wings, I'm out. I believe it's exactly what I said. Well, it is for Jedi Masters. And the Jedi Masters. Joe's got it? I know it. I, I, well, you can't say it. No. I, mean, I think you said it in the first movie. Right? Beth, you can't say Beth, it. Beth, 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 Beth knows. <laughs> they do say it in the first movie. Dan's got it. Beth says Talons. I think Dan's got it. Dan Steigen says X foils. Mm, close. Oh, oh. No, actually, that's, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. No, it's it's close. Okay. Anybody okay. else? Your 
close. If someone has something with foils, then they'd be closer. That's, that's the thing. So, ah. Okay. It says like something in attack position. S foil. Boom, S foil. My Ashley sister. Lloyd. Oh, okay, Lloyd. Ashley, I guess we'll have to. My sister. We'll have to send her some ice cream. I'll send hers. <laughs> let's, let's do one. I got one more TV question. Joe Reynolds keeps saying excavator for some reason. Hmm. I don't want to rent one of those. Expensive. I've got one. I drove one once. Really? I, I do have a trivia question. Well, we'll give away right. one of your figures. <laughs> <laughs> For a Jaycox original. Well, you know it's what, $10? Better be a good question. It will be. It you will know be. the answer this time. This is the, the question to end the show. I heard, I heard about it, I heard about it oh. uh, yesterday. Mm. So, uh, there was a G.I. Joe character whose son is in the cops. Toy line. Which character? Like the cops and crooks toy line? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, there is a G.I. Joe character who is referenced, or his son is referenced in the cops toy line. What G.I. Joe character Fighting was? Fighting time in the future time. Fighting crime in the future, future time. Yeah. I oh. saw one, I was looking through stuff, there's one in here. Central organization. Specialist. Oh, he got it. Whoa. Wait. Do you know the answer? I do. I heard about it last night. It's kind of odd. So it's the son of a the G son of a GI Joe. So a GI Joe has a son in the cops toy line. In the cops toy line. Yeah. Was cops toy line made by Hasbro? That's Joel's answer for every G.I. Joe. Law and Order. <laughs> Law and Order. Also his favorite TV show. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. <laughs> I, I saw it last night and uh, who, who who were you talking to about this like in a social setting? I'm setting. looking at it right here. Yeah, but who were you talking to in a social that setting about toy this? Toy franchise oh, cops. Awesome. Where is it? Did you know? Order was the dog. Yeah. And the show cops, the character blank. The third. Okay. Yeah. So it's real. It is real. Yeah. Where is this on Wikipedia? Yeah. Google it, guys. What's Google the question it. again? Adam Hens is watching. All right. Yeah, I am. Adam on it. Hey. Steve Bade trying to get it. All right. So. <laughs> it's, it's the yeah, there is a, this, it is. It's a hard one. It, it is a tough one. Which G.I. Joe uh, character, character's son, is in the Cops animated series and in the Cops toy line? Was this like on a file card or it, was it mentioned in the show? It was mentioned. I, I saw it last night and I just looked at it and it's right here. Well, if Rex can Google it, so can so you. So can anybody. Oh, viewership is just going down. Yeah, yeah, they got racks. <laughs> Put a rack on. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all they're all blogged off. They got to get on Google. Yeah, they got they got pop off and they yeah. got back on. Hey Siri. They, they can only use one window. At a time. Was was it too hard of a question? <laughs> That's a pretty hard question. It is. I'll just give anybody that's been on the show Cops on Fox the win. Have you been on the show Cops on Fox? <laughs> Checkpoint. Checkpoint is the the side, but what is uh, Joel Reynolds says beachhead. Yes, Joel Reynolds wins. Joel Reynolds wins. Beachhead son. Yeah, be careful with the GI Joe questions, Rex. From uh, the remote question from the the South Dakota question. Oh, what was the only? Oh yeah, was the only? Yeah, uh, yeah. South Dakota, and then they added one like one. Oh man, that's it. That's all we got. We are done. Woo. Thank you for tuning in. Woo. We will see everybody next um, Well, what do we got going on? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday is the toy. Not only is next Wednesday the show, it's also the toy. What's the toy? How long is the toy thing going to be? Oh, we're going to do it from like 1 to 8. 1 to 8. It's going to be going on during the show. Right, the toy. So, so people, people, so people can bring in their stuff and we will raise it during the show. Live. Live. So we're not hiding it. <laughs> in front of a handful. In front of thousands and thousands of. Uh,
potential viewers. Right. That's right. It's going to be quite classy. Yeah. Yeah, it will be. It'll be pretty sharp. What, should we play the music? Where's yeah. the music? Cue the music. Joel, we'll see you Friday. Everybody else? See you, Joel. Oh, Tuesday, Waverly Auction, 5 o'clock. Tuesday, Waverly Auction, 5 o'clock. There's o lots of toys this Tuesday. Yeah. There'll be more next Tuesday. Troy's Toys is out there. Troy's Toys? Yeah. See you, Troy's Oh, yeah. Troy's Toys? Oh, crap. Who oh, turned it off? Lost music. Who turned it off? What happened? Mean? It is time. We gotta wait for Dan to get here, though. Well. Ooh, choo, 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 choo.